Hello and welcome to my channel. This is C Sharp, where we write code in Visual Studio. Um, and the code we write can work in Visual Studio 2008, 2010, 12, and 13. And we write code for Windows Forms application using C Sharp. In this video, we're going to write code um, for a music player. We're going to be making a music player. And um, how this music player is going to work, we're going to be able to select music files from our computer. Um, and we're going to be able to play them in um, the Windows Media Player and we're going to be able to shuffle the items in the list box. All right? So let's start our new project. Let's go to File, New Project and we're going to click on Visual C Sharp, Windows Forms Application and um, change the name to Player. Um, I didn't spell it properly but uh, it doesn't really matter. And now we want to resize this not really that big but okay and we change the text to player and we'll set the start position to center screen and now we want to get um, controls so we're going to have a list box so let's get a list box and then we're going to have two buttons so let's get one, put it there, resize it, and change the text to open music files. Um, let's just go ahead and copy paste that and change the text in this button to shuffle. Okay. Now we want to scroll down and get a music player, Windows yeah. Media Player, rather. And uh, we're gonna paste it there. And we're gonna put it to load. Once it loads, we'll just resize it as so. And um, once we do that, you wanna try writing code to open the music files, right? We wanna be able to select music from our computer. Let's double click on this button. And um, before we write code there, we want to declare two strings, okay? So we're going to say the first one we'll call it doc, and the next one we'll call it path, right? And now we can write the code. So we're going to say open file dialog. So we'll refer to that as open new. Alright, what this basically does, it um, allows us to get um, using this variable we're able to get music files right so open that multi multi select we set it to true and by setting it to true we're gonna be able to select more than one music file from a folder at once alright so we can yeah now we want to filter because we all know that music files come in different formats right such as mp3 um, we're gonna set. Sorry, we're gonna set that to MP3, and they also come in um, AVI files. And we're gonna set that to AVI as well. And um, also web files. These aren't the only ones there, but they are the ones that are. I have my music files in, so we'll just use that. I'll use those for now. If you have any other, you can add. I'm gonna say if we open the file, the open the file dialog, and we select um, something. Sorry, that working. We want the code to do the following. Say open save file save file names with an S. Don't forget the S. And then we're gonna say part is equal to open the file names with an S. And we're gonna say we're gonna have a follow. And this follow we'll say it, we're gonna say int I yeah. I is equal to zero. 
and um, if i is less than doc length we want it to um, increment right and then we're going to say that the list box should add items to it so we should by selecting items from our open file dialog music files this allows them to be added to the list box that's basically what this code does all right and then now we, we want to go ahead and write code for the list box so once we select a music file once we select music files from the computer they're going to be put into the list box and now we want once they're put into the list the list box we want to be able to select one name of them and then for that selected item to be played in this media player right so we're going to just call the name of our media player which is this one right here all right so we're going to say ax the url so we all know what url stands for we're going to say path that selected index. So this means that the selected index should play music, right? And what we want to use is a, a try catch. It's called a try catch block. And basically, what this um, try catch block does, it's instead of us having to make a mistake and uh, the program being stopped this catches the error or the um, yeah the error that we have and it will tell us what the error is instead of shutting down the program all right and that's basically how the try catch our try catch is going to look okay and then now we want to write code for this shuffle button so let's double click on the shuffle button and write the following so we're going to say list box this is this isn't the name of our list box this is the the keyword list box right we're going to say object collection is equal to list please use a variable list so what this basically does is is referring to the items in the list box and um visual studio gives us the option of this random generator and what this random generator does it does exactly what the name states it makes a list box or whatever we want to randomize random okay in this case we're using randomize for the shuffle so we're going to say use an integer say list list of count and what this basically does it counts it states how many items there are in the list box so I'm going to call the name of the list box um, and we want it to begin the update. After that we want, we're going to write a while loop. We're going to say if while the list count, while the number of items in the list box, we're going to say while w is greater than 1, we want it to do the following. We want it, we want a decrement. We're going to have an, int, an integer, we'll call it u. I'm going to say random. Um, next, we're going to add a number of items in our list box. I'm going to say object value is equal to the list. Then list u is gonna be equal to list w, and then list w we want it to be equal to the value. Okay, we're gonna end the settings ended there. Then now after the while loop, we want to say that the update should end we're going to say the name of our list box we're going to say end update all right
and update which is right here. And then now we want to invalidate the, the list box. And what invalidation um, does, it redraws or resketches the list box. And by doing that, we're able to see the shuffled list box. Okay, so invalidating is very important. So with that code being written and you understanding it, we're going to load or debug our program. And let's see if it works how it's supposed to work. So we're going to click on music files and I'll select music and I'll copy all these and open and they're all posted into this list box. So once I select any of them, the music should play. And it's play. And if I shuffle, you see our list box shuffles. So look at it now. And then so it's working how it's supposed to work. Alright? Let me just stop that. So I hope you've all enjoyed that um our tutorial today and you all learned something subscribe share the video thank you for watching